Welcome back to CBC News Sunday. Ryan Malcolm is one of Canada's best-known singers. It's not for selling the most CDs. It's because back in 2003, he was the first winner of the hugely successful Canadian Idol television show. Ryan Malcolm joins us here in our studio to talk about life after Idol. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. How is life after Idol, and what kind of life is there after <laughs> Idol? Um, a good life. I mean, I've been having a blast for the last uh, three or four years, you know, just playing music, doing a lot of traveling, and... Uh, about a year and a half ago, I started writing uh, for the new record and, and putting the band together. And I guess, you know, the rest is sort of, we've been a nice tight family for about a year and a half now. So, Was it a good experience or was it too commercial for what you ultimately wanted to do as a musician? You know, I, it, 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 uh, it allowed me some great opportunities. It got me a great foot in the door. And, you know, after the show was done, it was sort of up to me to do with it what I could. And... Um, you know, I, I wouldn't take it back for, for a second. I mean, obviously, there is the commercial aspect of it. I mean, it's, you know, it's pop culture, right? It's always very commercial, especially here in North America. Um, but, you know, you take your opportunities when you can get them, and uh, it was a great one for me, so. Do you, uh, I mean, the, I mean, I gotta admit, you look very different. I mean, mm -hmm. the old the Ryan Malcolm, that the Canadians came to know, had the glasses. Yeah. Some people think glasses are geeky. I'm all for it. I love glasses. Yeah, I right. There you go. No, but, but, but is it, is it a, do I have to reimagine, because your sound has changed, your look has changed. Yeah. What, what, how have you grown? Um, you know, um, I, I just take stuff from the other guys. They're, they're, they're sort of what completes me, and we complete each other, I guess, as artists. They complete me. I know. Yeah, Holy um, Jerry Maguire yeah, reference. Um, they title. had me at hello, but seriously. <laughs> um, no, it, it's kind of cool because we bring our own artistic uh, vibe to the, th to the table. Um, Sean's a great writer. James is a great writer. Dave Brand. They're all great writers. So, I mean, we sort of have the same direction, but at the same time, a very different artistic vibe. So. But will the, will the audience stay? Like, I, I, the Canadian Idol audience, it seemed to me, yeah. with a lot of younger mm -hmm. people, and, and the sound is, as you say, geared towards that. And, and will they stay with you? Will those fans say, oh, we still like Ryan Malcolm? I think so. I mean, so far, the, the reception's been great. I mean, we played on Idol last week, which was really great for us. You know, we got a chance to play the new single, uh, uh, Say, which is actually the second single. And... They liked it. I mean, it's, it's, it's not too crazy. You know, we're not a death metal band or anything like that. But, you know, I think as the records progress, we're definitely going to get a little more further from the, from the center for sure. Um, yeah. It's just I think every artist wants to do that. They want to, you know, try and see how, many, how far they can push the envelope. So. Yeah, and, and, and you're dealing seriously with, if you're not independent, I mean, that's what independence affords mm -hmm. you. You're mm -hmm. able to do your own exactly. thing we and follow your integrity. Want. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to hear what yes. you like to do in just a minute. Um, oh, yes, your bandmates are waiting to get into <laughs> yeah, the act. Sorry, guys. Carol's <laughs> waiting for me to get into the act. They're going to perform on our Sunday Spotlight, so we're talking about music, but just like dancing to architecture, you got to hear it, so stay with us. We'll hear from Ryan Malcolm. 